Okay, we're gonna start cutting these at the right length. Well, we're in the hospital now because Dwayne got a giant splinter stuck in his arm. So, we're gonna go back to the clinic. Good luck to the center of the earth. <laughs> and go see how deep this thing is. Okay, now we're back in the room, waiting to see how deep and the direction it went because it's so deep. The doctor even tried to mine our surgical thing and couldn't get it out. So he might have to have surgery to have this splinter removed. But we're gonna go put the floor together, no matter what. So stay tuned, maybe I'll have pictures to show you. <laughs> splinter update. They couldn't see anything on the x-ray, so now he gets to have an MRI. So all we know is the piece of wood shows it's about that long. And I'll show you a picture of how thick, because you can see where it broke off. Hang on. Okay, so we're back from the hospital, waiting on them to call us with an MRI to see exactly how deep and what angle that splinter goes. But this is what we did today. We still have some work to do. It's all squared up, and he's nailing up the last of those boards. Joyce's? Joyce's and then if we have an overlap here. We'll put some blocks in all the way down and Then there'll be blocks all through there and blocks in here and Then we'll start putting on the floor, right? Blocks and then the top Yeah, we'll block and then the top so Pretty cool. So he's getting measurements from this area because it's all squared and he's shooting, he's cutting them and then he's giving them to me for the middle. And so we're blocking all the middle. Um, we're screwing them in because of the area is too small. Yeah, shorter, shorter distance with the drill than a uh, nail gun. Yeah, the nail gun's too hard to get in here. So that's what we're doing right now. We're putting in blocks. Part of putting in the blocks is we take this little square, we make sure that it's square. Square center on the thing. Yep, we make sure that it's square on here before I screw. And then I screw in on both sides. So. Oh yeah, you said you wanted some water, honey. You can have it, but you've got to meet the quota and make it to here, installing these blocks. <laughs> You get it? <laughs> that is so staged. But that's what he said to me just a second ago. Yeah, yeah. then we decided to record it. You because it was funny. Ones. Yes, boss, boss man. <laughs> okay. okay. Back to work. Back to work. <laughs> right. Here's your update. We have the first row of OSB on. Everything is square. We cut the second row in half so that all of your seams are staggered. And so we're about to line up the second row and go from there. So we've got this much floor. My son-in-law Jesse's come to help. This is where the bedroom meets the main cabin. This is like this because we made a mistake. So we're gonna tell you our mistake. Why are you telling mistakes? Never tell mistakes. Never tell your secrets. Okay, well here's the mistake we made. On the main cabin, we started measuring 16 inches from this corner over. But on the bedroom, we measured 16 from that corner over. We got lost. So never, never go in a different direction. Or you end up having to cut a bunch of teeny tiny little blocks. And when we started this, I told my wife, you always keep your flow going one direction. And what did I do? I forgot what direction it was going after we got the main floor up. And then this right here was went a different direction. Because I was just standing right there. It was easier just to start right there. Okay, but thinking. what is the benefit of this mistake? 
This is gonna be a very solid yeah. part of the floor where There's the wall walls come down. Here. A wall that goes through there, so it's reinforcement on the wall. Yeah, so there's always a silver lining. Okay, back to work.